Boy, it's been a while since we talked And my head's getting nervous I can handle this on and off I can't know I just gotta know where you are If I want to remain sane You could be running off with somebody else Ooh, boy, I ask myself Hello and welcome to Pursuit of Perfect System and have I got something cool for you. Hold on a minute. On Friday, I travelled into Soho in London to meet UK hi-fi manufacturer Cyrus Audio, who were hosting a press event at the very well-renowned Karma Sanctum Hotel, which is a rather swanky venue, and I'm sure it's famous for the art on its walls, and if it's not, it should be. Downstairs, Cyrus had booked out the Variety Screening Room, which is basically a cinema with a bar, my kind of cinema, to host the launch of their brand new one cast streaming amplifier. I was given permission to film this, which is a real treat because normally the general public wouldn't get to see an event like this because really it's a trade-based event. And that would have been a real shame because Simon Threefy, who is Cyrus's managing director, was there giving a very in-depth presentation about the OneCast amplifier. And it's a very interesting presentation about what is a very modern piece of hi-fi electronics. The presentation was over an hour long, so including this video, I'm making this into a three-part video series. And I suggest you watch all three parts because there's some very interesting things to see, hear, and learn about. I managed to grab Simon at the end of the day for a quick interview, and that's what I'm gonna use to finish this video and then there'll be the two other parts of the series coming soon. And as you might have seen already there on the desk behind me, I have a Cyrus OneCast here, which I'm going to review and that'll be coming to you soon as well. So I hope you enjoy the interview and then I hope you enjoy the other two parts of this video series, which will be coming soon. If you do enjoy the videos, make sure you hit the thumbs up button for them and it's a great idea to subscribe to the channel, hitting that notification bell so that you get a nudge when these videos go live. It's the end of a long day shooting and filming with Cyrus. It's been a really interesting day and I'm here with Simon Threefee who is Managing Director of Cyrus and it's been a press event showcasing the new Cyrus One cast streaming amplifier which is a really exciting and interesting product so first of all thanks for inviting me down Simon. Pleasure, I really pleasure appreciate to have you here really great to, it's really great to see you thank you so i suppose in terms of just basic ethos or the basic ethos of the cyrus one cast what would you say was the idea behind its invention and its design well uh it's the third in our cyrus one range of products which is a, a range which we really aimed at the consumer market and what we wanted to do was to get back to some of these core philosophies that we have in the Cyrus brand, which is making products that are incredibly flexible, so they do lots and lots of things. They're unbelievably easy to use, and they sound amazing, so we're able to produce that emotional wow factor for the audience when they, when they sit down and listen to music. And this really is the culmination, so you know, we've got all sorts of uh, sophisticated, it's our Class D hybrid amplifier platform that's in here, it's got some of our DAC technology in as well, which we have in the One HD. But we've added to the One Cast complete home automation and streaming integration, and it's a world first this product because we've got built-in voice control capabilities, a streaming voice control capability with Alexa and Google and Apple Siri. And I think as I'm you having work, trouble uh, connecting uh, to the <laughs> internet. <laughs> Take a look at the house. And we, you, you can do track selection, as we've yeah. demonstrated actually today. You can actually the pick your track and, uh, and, and put all those things on. And we've been demonstrating that. And the guys are just packing away our friends from Alexa <laughs> and Google over there. Um, but yeah, no, it's been great. And it, it, it really, as I say, this is like the, the end of it, not the end of a journey, but kind of the point we were trying to get to when we started in 2016 with the original one. So things that really stood out to me through the, the presentation today, one was uh, the speaker impedance matching. That's a really interesting technology. Would you mind explaining that? How that yeah, works? so um, w part of the hybrid Class D platform that we've got in here, there are a lot of different elements that we've brought together. And um, 
what the, the unit does is every time you turn it on, it sends a small signal out to the speakers and measures the impedance of the speaker, actually measures the impedance of the speaker and cable combination. And then it makes a few fine adjustments inside the box so that the amplifier is perfectly matched to that speaker. So it gives you that opportunity to, to get great sound from a, a huge range of speakers uh, and, and making sure that whatever you pair it with, you get the best possible sonic performance. I think the thing that was really cool about that is when you first turn the product on, it goes through like a flash thing with the LEDs, yeah. isn't it? Which got I thought, that, got that on your video. Too. Yeah, I've got that video. <laughs> okay. I thought that was just a really cool thing, but that's actually that process happening, isn't it? Yeah, well, it is happening, but it's also, you know, the point of LEDs on the front of a product is to give some indication to the user of what's going on. So, you know, in the same, uh, that's the sequence we've chosen just to say, oh, by the way, it's going through its SID sequence. And there are a few other things you saw with control lock and, and, and you know, balance left and right. And, you know, just trying to make it intuitive and easy to use. One thing I think that stood out about this product to me is the control aspect of it, which is all done within the streaming service's own apps, yeah. as opposed to yeah, any Cyrus specific app. Yeah, yeah, I can very good point, very good I, I can see this being a, initially controversial, but I can actually see the benefit of that because A, it's a faff changing between different apps, and B, often when you go from, say, for example, the Cobuzz app, into a different app, you lose the discovery aspect of that streaming service, which is probably the most interesting part of it for an audio file, discovering new music. Yeah. So what was the idea behind doing that? Yeah, I mean, it was, it was kind of a brave decision, mm. as you pointed out, but I think our, our view was that you know, most streaming devices from Hi-Fi manufacturers come with some form of manufacturer's app, which they use to control the product. But they are less than perfect. and. Yeah, most of the streaming music playing apps are really great. You know, they're really good things to use. They're changing all the time. They're throwing up new music to you. That discovery element that you talked about, which I think is is so key to you know getting enjoyment out of music. You know, you go, you try and use voice control only on a on your smart speaker. It's really hard to sit there and think of something to play. You end up playing the same old favorite albums again and again. And yet, the joy of music is about discovering new stuff. And so we wanted to make you know, we didn't want to take the customer out of that environment. So if you're a Tidal user, you configure your Tidal app to work the way you want it to do. You store all your favourites on it. You don't want to come out of that environment to play something new. We just want to be able to, within the app, throw that music at the one cast and be able to control the volume and select tracks from within that app. So we didn't want to take the user out of that. And it took a long time for us to find technology that could do that um, across all three platforms, but that's what we managed to do. One other thing which I was thinking of, and it came up a few times in the Q&A, is, is that when you search on your phone for the music, it's not via your phone the music's being streamed, is it? The phone is literally the remote control, yeah, so or when, a, a tablet yeah, is the yeah, remote control. So when you're using cast, um, what's happening is you're, you're searching through on your phone yeah. and you're saying, right, play this track, and it, it starts playing on your phone because the music's going down the insert to your phone. As soon as you just hit the button and select play on the, on the Cyrus one cast, it's actually sending an instruction to the amplifier and says, right, you now go, you go and speak to the Tidal server, you pull that music directly down and you play it from where you are. So you're right, the phone then merely becomes effectively like a remote control and all the work and the processing is happening here. And the massive advantage of that is that if you've got high-res streaming services like Cobuzz, for example, you can get those high-res photos and directly put them into the amplifier. And this amplifier, overcast, will natively play files up to 2496. So you can natively play those harmless files. I think on that point, that's another thing I think to bring up, is that this is a wireless-only product. Is that right? Apart from, you, you can connect it via USB. So yeah. If you want a hard wire, that's the best way. But the rest is all by our Yeah, there's no hard wire Ethernet port on there. Mm. And uh, some of those die hard audio fans will say, well, oh, hang on a minute, what's all this yeah. about? You know, Wi Fi's a bit dodgy. But you know, the whole point was to make the, the, the product easy to use. Uh, uh, and if it's Wi Fi, you can put it anywhere. You don't have to put it next to or near an Ethernet connection. And then, okay, so if you have Wi Fi and Ethernet, then if, it can create doubt in the consumer's mind because they say, well, what should I do? Should I plug it in with Ethernet or should I use Wi Fi? So we just thought, right, keep it simple, Wi Fi only product. And most houses nowadays have sufficient Wi Fi coverage. And we've got all these fantastic repeater things like you know, BT and all that stuff that, that mean that pretty much you can very easily get complete Wi Fi coverage wherever you want. So this is the most expensive product from the one series? Correct. Is this now classed as the top of the range product? 
or is it just a, a, a I? It's got more more features with it. How, how does it? Because the DNA shared through as we. As yeah, the we DNA shared through. So essentially, the amplifier section is the same. Yeah. So you're getting more or less the same sound quality uh, across those three products. But what you're getting is additional features. Yeah, so yeah, the yeah. one has analog only. The one HD has all the digital inputs. And the one cast has all the digital and all the streaming sure, inputs sure. as well. So the sonic quality is pretty similar. Really, it depends on you as a consumer, okay, what features do you want, how do you want to use it, and then you pick the product that suits you best. So if you was a one owner, you could upgrade to this and you would get, obviously, the streaming and an improved, and, or, and, and DAC, obviously, and an improved sound quality. Is that right, improved amplification from the one? Uh, the one, yeah, the, um, the amplification, the one was our third generation okay. class D hybrid. Yeah. The one HD was the fourth generation, so there are a few tweaks between the one and the one HD okay. that make the one HD slightly better. This is still fourth generation, yeah, so the sure. sonics between this and the one HD are the same. Because what I was thinking is there like, like an obvious upgrade path from one to, to the one cast because you then get all the features and some improved sound quality. That makes sense. Yeah. yeah. Obviously, so if you're one HD owner, the idea I suppose to upgrade would be to encompass the whole streaming platform within the product as well. Yeah, you could do that, but we, we can't. Unfortunately, the way these are designed, you, we can't take one back and turn it into a oh, That's not what I, what I meant, I meant yeah, in yeah. terms of buying news. So, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. you'd have to. I mean, obviously, in our core range of products, we yeah. do offer some of that upgrade functionality, but building that in comes at a bit of a cost, and what we wanted to do with this range was really, I mean, the concept behind the whole one series range is to put everything that everyone needs in yeah. one box. So pick the one that's got everything you want, whatever it is, it's all in one box, so it doesn't take up much space. In terms of availability, um, distribution, when will it be available to buy? It's available now, okay. so we have shipped the first uh, load of products into retailers in the UK, so your local specialist high fire store will have it, so places like Audio T and Richard Sounds, I think some of the 7 next stores have got them as well. We've had our German distributors been very, very interested in it, so there's lots of them in Germany, and they'll be in France and Spain and Italy, so I mean, uh, and Asia. Okay. Uh, and um, we've just, uh, I think we'll be in America in uh, beginning of 2020 with this product. Excellent, exciting. Appreciate this product, literally just come out, talking about the future is always a bit hard to construct the one product, but it might be a finger in the air comment, but will the technology behind this, all the uh, voice control and stuff, will that be going into the Cyrus mainstream products? We're looking, we're, certainly we've, we've learned a lot implementing this in this particular range, and we are looking at how we can you know, leverage some of that technology into some of the other platforms. Because I say I am like a bearded, old school, audio <laughs> file, not old, but old school, but there are some very cool features and very cool yeah. um, things about work, controlling it that way. Yeah. So. Yeah, no, if we um, can do that, we will. Okay, cool. Well, look, thanks very much, Simon. I really appreciate it. No, I'd love your day. Thank you. Yeah, brilliant. Nice thanks very much for coming down. Thank you. Cheers.